What's up punks, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be trading every single team's best players. I'll explain the random, num random number generator in a second, but go leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right into this. So I'll explain the random number generator once we start trading. So I'm going to go through every single team and trade their best player. I could trade, like, I'll go into Joel Embiid, and there's 25 trade offers. So I'll put 1 through 25, and I'll generate, and I have to accept the 21st trade in this. I, the Ken, Ken, Kenny from KO, King of the Fourth Quarter did this video, and I really liked it, so I'm going to do that. So we are trading... Uh, we traded Joel Embiid. I wasn't really paying attention, but I think it was for Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton. So now we're trading Giannis, and there's 17 trades. We put in 17 offers, and we're accepting the eighth trade. Trading Giannis is going to be something crazy. I'm trading for LeBron and Anthony Davis. We're also trading Drew Holiday. So this is going to be a fun, fun video, in my opinion. I'm really going to like this video, and hope you guys too. So that's why you guys have to subscribe and leave a like, leave a comment. What other videos you would like to see? We're trading Demar Derozan, my Chicago Bulls. You probably know that if you listen. And now we're trading. There's 28 trade offers. So let's see what we do. 15. Let's see what the 15th trade offer is. It is for Kevin Durant. I'm trading Nick Vooch and Demar for Kevin Durant and Nick Claxton. And I can, like, let's say I go to the Nets, and I will be trading DeMar again, if, if he's their best player. Donovan Mitchell, and there is 26 trades, and I'm accepting the 25th for Steph Curry and Jordan Poole. The Cavs are going to be set. They're winning the championship. That's what I got. Cavs winning the championship. And next is what? The Celtics, Jason Tatum. There's 25 trades, so I put in 25, and I'm set, and I'm accepting the 12th trade. Don't know who's really gonna be. It's gonna be for Luca. I'm also trading a pick. Jason, it's kind of an upgrade for Boston here. They're getting Luca, who I, who you probably know is better than Jason Tatum, but not. They're, I don't know. Yeah, you get it. You get it. Uh, next is Kawhi Leonard, uh, and there's 18 trades. For Kawhi Leonard, and I'm accepting the second trade for, and that's for Zach Levine and Lonzo. And Kevin Durant's on this team, so it's going to be Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard. So, uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how that turns out. And then next team is the Grizzlies. I am trading Ja Morant. This is going to be a fun one, 16 trades. And, yeah, so you guys should leave a comment on what other videos like to see. This one, uh, King of the Fourth Quarter, Kenny did it. I really go subscribe to him if you don't know who that is. Then you're crazy. You should know. I'm trading Ja for Tyrese and Benedict Matherin. Benedict Matherin is literally going crazy this season. He's averaging like 21 points a game or something like that. And so trading Trey Young, and we're accepting the 11th trade for Trey Young, and he is going to the Sacramento Kings for De'Aaron Fox and Keegan Murray. So. Cool upgrade for Sacramento. See what they could do. The rest, see if they get any other trades. And there's going to be some super teams that we are going to get, or at least a few teams. Intercepting the second trade, which is uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. And Jimmy Butler is going to the Milwaukee Bucks. So that's going to be pretty cool to see. what who's on, Who got traded to Milwaukee? Uh, oh, wait, LeBron did. Yeah, LeBron did. <laughs> Lamelo is getting traded for the twelfth trade here. There's out of twenty-eight, and he's getting traded for R.J. Barrett and Jalen Brunson. Lamelo and Gordon Hayward are getting sent to New York with what Julius Randle or something. Um, now we're on the Jazz. This one's not going to be as exciting because their best player is Laurie Markkinen. Uh, no hate to him. He's balling the season. He's averaging about twenty-three a game, and he's their best player. And we're accepting the fifth trade. And he is going to the Celtics for Al Horford. Um, cool. The Jazz best player gonna, is going to be Al Horford. And now the Kings. I guess Trey Young is getting traded again. And who is he going to get traded for? Or there's 21 trades. Let's see who he, he will get traded for. And it's the first. Wait, hold on. I didn't even. Yeah, 21. So he's getting traded for James Harden. And what, Tyrese Maxey? Yeah. All right, yeah. You you saw me click that. It didn't move. So, oh wait, I have to fix this really quick. 
Um, so yeah, th I guess I have to tr I have to fix the trading thing. Um, so I so it doesn't like lag out like that or I'm not lag out, but it'll take me a second. Well, it takes me a second. I'm gonna talk about how much you guys should subscribe to the channel to expect more videos like this and more content like this in basketball and other NBA terms or NBA content. That's why you should subscribe to see more videos from your boy and more amazing videos like this and that's why you should leave a like it really helps goal goal count or like goal is uh five uh i set low stance for myself because i have what 25 subscribers or something like that and i'm just gonna adjust this really quick um uh, i turned trade logic off which uh disabled trades and just in general so i'm gonna have to turn that back on and do any uh adjustments there but yeah I feel like this is going to be a really fun video as we see super teams uh, build up. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video as much as I do. That's why you should leave a like. It really helps. Um, it helps with uh, you guys liking the video, and it helps me a lot. So, let's get... Hopefully I could figure out what this what this problem is. Um, well, it's not really a problem. It's just a problem on my, my end of not knowing what to do. So, hopefully by just doing this, I'm able to, uh, you know, just be able to do all the trades I should be able to um after I do all of this so and let's see I probably should could or it's probably fixed and yes I can Lamelo's getting traded again for uh, if it loads there's 28 trades so put that in the 14th trade so let's go to the 14th trade and that is for Jason Tatum and what he's going to the Dallas Mavericks. Lamella's going to the Mavericks. Cool. Now the Lakers. Who's the Lakers' best player? Giannis. Um, oh man, who's he? Giannis on the Lakers is really crazy. And what? There's 26, and he goes to the 17th. So he's getting for Zion and Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram is going back to the um, Lakers. That's pretty cool to see. Um, got traded for Anthony Davis. You probably should know that. Paulo's getting traded. Um, I have to switch to that. Paolo's getting traded. He's the best player as a rookie for Orlando. You know, he shares the same birthday as me, November 12th. Uh, that was this past Saturday. I'm now 17 years old. Congratulations, me. I'm so cool. Um, he's now he's getting traded for LeBron James. Um, LeBron on the Magic. And uh, what? Uh, Paolo going to the Bucks. Cool. Cool. Um, Paolo's... Paolo and Russell Westbrook share the same birthday as me, November 12th. I'm 17, and Paolo's like 20. And Russell Westbrook's like, what, 34, 35 now or something like that? LaMelo's getting traded to the, uh, what? Uh, I don't even know. I didn't even see. But, all right, it's something. Um, DeMar DeRozan's getting traded. Sorry if I'm not, I'm not really paying attention to the trades right now. I'm just accepting them. Yeah, 22nd trade. DeMar's going back to the Spurs for Keldon Johnson and Jeremy Sochan, Sochan, however you say it. Um, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Now, Jokic, Nikola Jokic is getting traded, the former MVP. He's getting going to what team? The Memphis Grizzlies for Tyrese and Desmond Bain. So that's going to be pretty cool to see. Uh, now we are on the Pacers where John Morant is getting traded to what team? The 26th team, so I go to 26 for Donovan Mitchell and Andrew Wiggins. That's going to be cool to see. Um, Donovan Mitchell's about to average like 40. Uh, Giannis is getting traded again. So there's 20 trades, and he's going to the fourth team, which is the Cavaliers. The Cavs are winning everything. The Cavs are going to win the finals. They're going to win however many years I simulate. They're going to win everything. Cade's getting uh, traded now. To the what team? To Boston for Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart. Boston's gonna be pretty good. They've Luca, and I'm gonna simulate more than one year. So, like people have like can sign different places. I'm probably gonna do like two years, two or three years. Probably just two. I would want to do three, but Pascal's getting traded now to the Utah Jazz. He's probably gonna go there and average like forty because. It's Pascal Siakam, and he's a good player, and he can score and all that. He could do all that. He's a good basketball player. 
a good basketball player should be able, should able be able to score a little bit as Jalen Green is getting traded. Sorry for the starter there. And Jalen Green is getting traded to the Detroit Pistons for Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown has gotten traded a few times here. So Jalen Brown on what team? I, mean, I forgot where he just went. Now DeMar's getting traded from the Spurs again. Um, he's going to the Denver Nuggets for Tyrese and Michael Porter Jr. So he's teaming up with, uh, who did he team up with? I don't even know. Uh, Joel Embiid, who's on the Suns. Uh, he's getting traded to the Milwaukee Bucks for Anthony Davis and Jimmy Butler. And Cameron Johnson, is Cam Johnson's going to there too. Um, so let's see who we're trading next. We're trading Shea, who's really going off the season. He's averaging, what, like 29 a game. And he's getting traded um, for the LaMelo Ball and Keldon Johnson. So he's going to the Nets. Nets don't really have a crazy amount of people, like a, good people except for Shea, as Carl Anthony Towns getting traded to the, what team? The Golden State Warriors for John Morant, and D'Angelo Russell's going back to the Warriors. He had a short stint there for, like, I don't even know how many games. Not, he wasn't, wasn't there that long, but it wasn't there, like, it was, like, less than a season, I think, or something like that, as Dame's getting traded or getting close to the end of the trades and he's getting traded to the Golden State Warriors for for Cat and Draymond Green. So, yeah. And D Dame is getting traded again. So, let's see where he gets traded to. Too bad for him. He just got traded 2 seconds ago. Now he's going to the Milwaukee Bucks. So, with Joel Embiid and Embiid ended back up on the Warriors and a Bradley Beal last player to get traded. And he's going to the, well, uh, you saw it, I clicked the button, and he's going to Milwaukee. And you saw that. So now I'm just going to go over the teams, and you, you know, it's, you know, I'm just going to go over the teams and see how they look. And Trey Young, D-Book, and DeAndre Aiden all are now part of the 76ers, so... I just go through every team, deep book, 291 overalls and an 84. They all are on the Philadelphia, and then they have pretty the same team after that. Bradley Beal, Paulo Boncaro, and Clay Thompson are all on the Bucks. They're going to be okay. They're not going to be the greatest, but Paulo's going to develop after the season. They're not the greatest team. Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard are actually going to be solid. Um, Andre Drummond's still here. Well... They have Nick Claxton as the backup center now. And the Cavs are going to be crazy. Giannis, Darius Garland, Jared Allen, Jordan Poole, Karis LeVert, and every other player that they have. They don't have Evan Mobley anymore. They don't have a, they don't have a, a Donovan Mitchell, but they have Giannis. Uh, Celtics are good. Luka, Robert Williams, Cade, who's going to develop even more. Same with Robert Williams. Rob Williams. Uh, they're all upset. For some reason, but that doesn't matter. Paul George and Zach Levine and Lonzo are all here, so they're gonna be okay. They're not the greatest. Nikola Jokic on the Grizzlies with Jaron Jackson Jr. and that's it. Dejounte Murray is the best player in the Hawks with John Collins, Darren Fox, and Clint Capella. Uh, Bam is now the best player with the Chris Middleton, Tyler Hero up there. Bobby Portis here. RJ Barrett's the best player on the Hornets with Jalen Brunson. This team is not that good. Um, Pascal's probably going to average like 35 on the Jazz because he's almost a 90 and the other players are like a 60 overall. James Harden and Tyrese Maxey, DeMondis Ponis, are going to be on the Kings. This this could be like a good lineup right there for the Kings. Jason Tatum, and that's it for the Knicks. That's their entire team, Jason Tatum. Uh, yeah, they have Gordon Hayward. Cool. Yeah, that's all their team. Zion, Drew Holiday, Brandon Ingram are on the Lakers. That's all. That's everybody. They have no one else. Um, LeBron, and that's it, are on the Orlando Magic. Le it's LeBron now. It's the Re Orlando LeBrons. Uh, he won the ring on Orlando, so he went to Orlando. Um, that's a horrible joke by me. Um, disregard what I just said. Dallas Maggers, Dallas Mavericks have Kyrie. Brooklyn Nets have Shea and Nick Vooch. 
team's not going to be crazy good. DeMar and Desmond Bain and Jamal Murray and the Nuggets. I'm really stuttering a lot right now. I just can't speak. Donovan Mitchell on the Pacers with Andrew Wiggins, Miles Turner. Same team. Steph Curry and Ev CJ McCollum and Evan Mobley. Jonas Valanciunas are all in the Pelicans. This could be a good team once Evan Mobley develops. This team's garbage besides Jalen Green. Uh, they're very awful. Bojan's going to probably average 40. Same with Jalen Green. He's going to put up like 50 every night. They have, they have young players, though. So, Toronto Raptors have Scotty Barnes. He's the best player. They have Fred. They have Al Horford. They're going to be okay. Scotty Barnes is going to carry the entire team. So, they're okay. Not the greatest. Let's go to the next team. Um, the Houston Rockets are have Jalen Brown, and that's it. They have Jaden Ivey, so he's, they have a young team. Spurs are Tyrese, Michael Porter Jr., and that's it. Jimmy Butler, Anthony Davis, and Chris Paul. Mikel Bridges and Tobias Harris. That's actually a good lineup. This, The defense on this is crazy. Anthony Davis, Jimmy Butler, and Mikel Bridges. That's going to be crazy defense. Same with Chris Paul in there, just to get steals. He's not the like top-tier best defender in the NBA, but he... This will do stuff. Lamelo is going to average 50 or 60 on the, on the OKC. Probably not 60. John Morant, Anthony Edwards, and Rudy Gobert. That's actually good. Uh, Cat, Draymond Green on Portland. Same with Jeremy Grant, Anthony Simons. Joel Embiid is going to absolutely dominate on the Warriors. He's a 96 overall with a ton of 80s. Dame and Porzingis, Tingus Pingus are on the Wizards, and that's all. That's all for this, so let's just start simulating. First, I'm gonna just, um, I'm gonna adjust this really quick so they could do whatever they want. Um, I'm not gonna be in control of any, any team, anyone, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna influence the free agency. They sign whoever they want with whatever money they have for all the teams, really. So, well, some of the teams do actually have not a crazy amount of money. Um, so let's just simulate this. I'm gonna remind you guys just to subscribe and hit that like button and it really helps as we wrap up the season Giannis wins an MVP for the Cavs averaging 27 15 and 8 with a steal and two blocks It's crazy numbers for him Paolo wins uh, rookie of the year, of course He is the, he's averaging like 24. Cade wins six man. He's not gonna start over Luka so yeah, he's a, and Giannis Defensive Player of the Year. Alperin Sengun for Detroit wins Most Improved. And what, Mike Budenhoser was at the uh, Bucks? Did they get the Coach of the Year? Here's the All-NBA teams. If you really uh, care about that, I'm not going to go through them that much. So yeah, LeBron's up there. Donovan Mitchell averaged 34, 4.5, and 6.5, and and steal and a half. 46% from 3. Crazy. He's he entered the ninety overall club for the first time his entire career, this season with the Cavs. He's doing crazy things in Cleveland. They're gonna be really good, and they're gonna develop even more. It's crazy. Zion's up there. Nick Vooch is all gonna be a third team average nineteen twelve, four steal a block, pretty good from him. So here's the. No, well, I'm gonna go into depth about all the entire standings. I'm just going to show that. I'm going to show the Lakers the worst. Milwaukee Bucks were actually up there. We're just having Bradley Beal. And Pacers were up there. Hawks, Bulls, Celtics, Cavs. And then the play-in was Knicks, Philadelphia, Heat, and one more team that I can't see in Toronto. And here's the rest. It looks pretty accurate. Brooklyn, that's worst to me in the entire NBA. Accurate. So, Eastern Conference looks somewhat accurate besides Indiana. Let's go to the Western Clippers. This doesn't look as accurate because, you know, Pelicans are the fourth seed and Minnesota's up there. But it looks ac accurate on the bottom half with the Lakers being the, what, 13th seed. So let's just look at the league leaders. Um, of course, um, Jaw's going to be up there with 35 and 9. Darius Garland, 33. Jason Tatum, 33. Um, Kevin Durant, 33. Luka, 33, 11 and 8. Trey Young, 33 and 11. LeBron's up there. Shea's up there. Steph's up there. D Book's up there. Giannis is up there. Kyrie's up there, 26. Yeah, Nikola Jokic is up there. Bradley Beal. Joel Embiid. So you're, I'm going to show like the top 20. I guess DeMar's up there. Darren Fox is up there. Paul George. Kawhi. I mean, this is really all I'm going to show. 
top 25, I guess. Let's just get in the playoffs and see how we do. Uh, it's going to be annoying just pressing A. I'm on Xbox, so I press A. Um, so, I'm in control of all the teams. I'm not going to just take control of one. And Chicago's in the conference finals against Philadelphia. Philadelphia was in the play-in. And Philadelphia versus the Clippers. And Philadelphia won the championship. Trey Young was there to Game 7. Yeah, Philadelphia came from the play-in. They were at the 8th seed, something like that. And they made the finals in one. Uh, that's like my Lakers video. So, you know, it's a new season. Probably players left. Deion Drayton's up to a 87. But the rest of the team is garbage. Besides Trey Young and Trey Young and D-Book. So I'm just going to go through each team again and see what changed. This team didn't change at all. They're all the same. Big three, I guess. Trey Young, uh, D-Book, and DeAndre Ayton. Uh, DeAndre Ayton went up three, so that's really all. Uh, Paolo went up to an 86. Bradley Beal still an 87. Clay's an 81. Markel Fultz is here. So Kevin Durant, 96. Kawhi, 92. Pat Williams up there. Um team hasn't changed except uh, Darius Garland went up Jordan Poole went up and Jared Allen probably went up too he's an 86 this team's gonna be really good I see them making the finals this year they didn't make it last year but it's whatever uh, Cade's up to an 89 Luca's up what well, he's injured right now but Rob, Rob Williams up to an 87 um, and the rest of the team's actually pretty solid so Paul George 86 Zach Levine, 89, yeah. Here's this team, pretty garbage. Jaren Sex Jr., 86. This team's okay, it's the same. Nothing's really changing with the teams a whole lot. Tyler Hero's now the best team, best player in the Heat. He's an 87 overall. Four years, 120 million. The team's gonna actually be solid. RJ, this, well, the Charlotte Hornets still suck. They're garbage, and I didn't load in any draft class or anything. This team still is the same. Pascal, he only, he averaged a tad bit under. Oh, uh, what? Uh, who left? Who left uh, the Kings? James Harden and Tyrese Maxey. They they left the Kings. They did. Um, Jason, um, yeah, Jason Tatum's still there. This team looks the same. They got Gary Trent. LeBron's still here. This team's the same. Kyle Kuzma's there. Uh, they're the same, really. Shit, yeah, they got Tyrese Maxey. Uh, that, he was with the uh, Kings. So it's Shea and Tyrese Maxey. This team's actually better now. And they looks like they got an H. O'Neal. He's their rookie, I guess. So this team's going to be pretty solid. And Desmond Bain up to an 88 overall. He's probably going to average like 25 a game. Same with this season. He's like in real life, he's averaging like 25. Um, Donovan, this team looks the same. Same thing. Uh, Evan Mobley up to an 88 overall. This is really good. This team's going to be great. Uh, Jalen Green, James Harden's on the Pistons. And Jalen Green is the best player on the team. Scotty Barnes and Miles Bridges is here. Uh-oh, that's not good. Committed some crimes in the U.S. and fled to the uh, fled to Canada. So, <laughs> not a good sign for him. And I passed over a few teams. Here's all the other things. You know what's going on. You could see them. But that's a bad sign for My Miles, man. He committing crimes and he's fled to another country, but he's still playing ball. Um... Uh, teams are looking the same except a few. Cat's uh, still here, 87. Joel Embiid and Kevin Love. Don't remember if we got traded there, but uh, yeah. So let's just get into the season. Remind you guys to you know hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment about what you, what type of videos you like to see next, or what like any challenges, any suggestions of what kind of thing I should do. Um, I'm not telling you guys to what tell me what videos to make. As Giannis wins another MVP, I just want suggestions on what challenges I should do. Giannis wins an MVP of Jean. Yeah, that's the, uh, he averaged like a crazy amount. Miles Bridges, six man of the year, 17 5 3. Uh, winning awards in Canada, man. Not a good sign. Here's the all NBA teams. I'm, I probably should stop making Miles Bridges jokes, even though it's still extremely funny, but actually, it's not. It's not that funny anymore. I just like using overused jokes. Uh, because that's the person I am, so that's why you should subscribe. And to see more content like this, Darius Garland's still up there. Uh, Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Buckets, Jimmy G Buckets. And here's, we're, let's just get into the playoffs. 
Or let's actually look at the standings first. Atlanta Hawks were first. Cavs were second. Um, and Detroit is up there. Jalen Green carried them probably. Orlando's a fifth seed. Milwaukee's playing. And Charlotte Horn's the worst team. Let's get to the uh, Western Conference. Minnesota's number one. Oklahoma's third. Rockets are fourth. And we're the Lakers. Uh, they're the 12th. Um, Sacramento's last because, what, they only had Mondas bonus. Let's just look at the uh, league leaders right now. Well, let's just go through each team. Whew. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's getting late now. It looks like Trey Young only played f about half the season. And Devin Booker got injured too. He fractured left Achilles. He's out for the rest of the season. He played didn't play that much more than Trey Young. But Trey Young only played half the season. DeAndre Ayton had to step up, be that primary man for most of the season. They averaged 18 and 10. And Paul, Bradley Beal averaged 27, Paolo 20. Clay's still out here averaging 18. He's still just being a shooter, his shooter. And KD averaged 27. So good stuff, good stuff. Uh, you saw... Giannis one's MVP. Here's the rest of the stats. You could just look through them. I'm not going to really point out crazy stats unless I see crazy stats. Luka 26. Cade 26. Here's the Clipper stats. Nothing crazy about them. Jokic doing Jokic things. Averaging a triple-double. Uh, Benedict Matherin averaging 18.5. Jante Murray leading scorer in the team. We saw him do that before on the Spurs. Tyler Hero averaged 27. 5-5. Five and five. Almost 50% from the field. How many threes did he shoot? He's a versatile offensive threat. 45% from three. Almost 46% from three. RJ averaged 25 with Terry Ozier averages 20. They sucked. They were like the worst team in the NBA. This guy only played eight games. Um, I'm saying um a lot. Pascal averaged 19. I would expect him to average like 80 considering he's on the Utah Jazz and there's no one else that's actually good on the team. And DeMontis Sabonis, leading scorer. Mike Conley is there. Malik Monk. Jason Tatum, average 38 and 12. Good stuff from Jason Tatum. So, MVP caliber numbers didn't, uh, but you probably got to win games to get that. Zion, average 27. Brent Ingram, still in the Lakers. LeBron, putting up great numbers, along with his garbage team. Kyrie, up there. Shea, average 29. Tyrese, 23. There's the rookie. One rookie of the year. This guy's going to be solid if I decided to simulate more years, but I'm not going to. DeMar and Desmond Bain. It wasn't Desmond Bain in 88 to start. He only averaged 20. That's all right, though. It's not my it's not my team. It's not my rebuild, so I don't care. And Steph Curry's up there with CJ. Jalen Green, James Harden, Jalen Duran, 79 overall. I feel like he's going to be solid. There's Colin Sexton with Miles Bridges. Um, Jaden Ivey up there with Jalen Brown. Here's the Spurs, like with uh, Tyrese. Jimmy Butler, Lamelo's up there, 25 and 10. Ja, 32 and 10. There's a, and then we're getting wrapped up with these stats so we can go to the play in. Play, playoffs, you're probably getting bored of these stats. Joel Embiid averaged 23 and 11. Probably could average more, but the team sucks, so. You know, let's get, let's just get into the playoffs. It, I don't want to talk about stats anymore. I'm I'm yawning, dude. Like, let's just get to the playoffs. Utah was eliminated. Pascal's in the play-in. Uh, his team sucks, so I wonder why. He got eliminated so early. And let's see who wins the finals. Clippers and who? Clippers and the Philadelphia is there. It looks like the Clippers are close to making it to the finals again. And the Clippers make it for the second year in a row, Paul George. And they won. So, Clippers won the championship, Paul George Finals MVP. So, that's really all I got for you today. I'm only going to do two seasons. I probably could, should do another, but I ain't got much time left. So, here's top-ranked players. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment what other videos you'd like to see, what other challenges in 2K you'd like to see. A lot more good videos coming up. You could trust me on that. So, leave a like. It truly helps. And thank you guys for watching, and you know, just go subscribe for more NBA 2K content, any other NBA content like this.
And so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.